Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. So what I'd like to do is show you how to factor by grouping. And factoring by grouping becomes very important because we've talked about factoring trinomials and higher order trinomials and binomials by the GCF and so forth. But what do you do when you have four terms? You can see that these are not quadratics. They're not trinomials. Um, so we can't just factor them to you know, how we've factored before. But we have to another technique when we have four terms that I always want you to look for when you have four terms. Regardless of always factoring out the GCF, that's something we always want to look for. But factoring by grouping is a very, very important factoring technique that's going to help us factor each one of these uh, polynomials. So basically, by grouping, what it basically is telling us is we're going to group the first two terms and then group the last two terms. And then basically what we're going to do is we're going to look at those two terms and try to factor out the GCF. So if you look at x cubed minus, or first of all, let's look at the GCF of all of them. Do they all share anything in common? No. So therefore, I go into grouping. Um, here, you can see that the first two terms share an x squared. So I factor out an x squared, and I'm left with x, x minus 1. And then out of these two, you can see that they both share a positive 3. So I factor out a positive 3. Then you can see inside the parentheses, by doing that, I have a common x minus 1. Well, that's common between these two terms, which are separated by addition. So I can factor that out again. And by factoring that out, I get x minus 1. And what I'm left over with is an x squared plus 3. And that's going to be my other factor. And now I have rewritten my polynomial as a product of two factors. And therefore, you can say it's factored. Um, in the next example, there's a couple different ways you could do this. Um, you can see that I, they share a factor x. So the first thing I'm going to want to do is factor out an x. So therefore, I'm left with x cubed minus 2x squared plus x minus 2. Again, then I go into my factoring. There's nothing else I can factor out. So I group my first two terms, group my last two terms. My first two terms, you could say, um, they share a, um, they share a x squared. So I'm going to use a bracket here. And so I'm going to factor out an x squared. And therefore, by factoring x squared, I'm left with an x minus a 2. Now, in this case, you could see, well, what are they? x minus 2, that doesn't share anything, right? But again, I want to make this the same as this x minus 2. So I need to factor something out so I can have x minus 2 in parentheses. So what I can factor out is a positive 1. Because what is Why does that look the same? Oh, that's the same. So wh what is positive 1 times x minus 2? x minus 2. But by factoring out, now I have binomials x minus 2 that are in common that I can now factor out. So by factoring that out, I'm left with x minus 2 times x squared plus 1. And I don't really need to write the parentheses in there. I can just write it as x times x minus 2 times x squared plus 1. Because now that's written as product form, um, the commutative property will apply. So I, I'm no longer having to use uh, distributive property or so forth. OK, um, so in here, you can see that I'm trying to see if there's any common terms I can factor. Well, these are even, and 5 is not. So therefore, I can't factor out a 2 or any other term. So I will group the first two terms and group the last two terms. Um, now I want to see what I can factor out here. And you can see I can factor out a 2x squared. By factoring out a 2x squared, I'm left with a 2x plus 1. And then for the negative 10x minus 5, you can see that they factor out, I can factor out a negative 5. Now again, you don't just want to factor out 5, but we want to factor out a negative because you can see the difference between these two is negative. And we want the difference to be the same for it to be positive. So I'm going to want to factor out a negative 5. And when I do that, I'm going to get a 2x plus 1. And again, the goal of factoring by grouping is to factor out the GCF. So therefore, you have the same term in the parentheses again, so you can factor it out one more time. By doing that, I get 2x plus 1 times 2x squared minus 5. Okay? All right, last but not least, ladies and gentlemen, um, now this one I'm going to do a little bit different. I'm not going to factor out the x squared, which you definitely easily could. There's not a problem with that. But I'm just going to show you that it's okay if you um, do that at a later point as well. So in this case, you can see what do they share in common. Now they factor out an x to the fourth. And a 3. So I could factor out a 3x to the 4th. And by doing that, I'm going to be left with uh, x plus 3. And then over here, I can factor out a x squared by factoring out a positive x squared. Again, I'm going to be left with a x plus 3. Now you can see the green x plus 3s is common, so I can factor that out. 
and I'm left with a 3x to the 4 plus x squared, um, which again, you could factor out an x squared from there, which is what we would have originally factored out anyways, right? So you can see how um, it wouldn't really have changed your answer. Typically, we usually we like to practice GCF, factor out the GCF, but again, if you forget or you don't notice it, it's okay. But that's how you factor a uh, polynomial using groupings. Thanks.